okay so to access the sharepoint we have to go to the microsoft launcher so i have logged in into my microsoft account if you don't have you can create one it's a free of cost so for the for sharepoint you must have to be in the organization if you are using personal onedrive then you can discontinue the video to see because it is of no use it is only useful if you are working in the organization and you have to access the sharepoint so to access sharepoint you go to the microsoft launcher and click on the sharepoint so this will open it so you can see you can create the site you can create the news post so we will first create the site and later on we will see how to post the news post it is required if you have the big company you can create a separate news uh, news portal but we don't need in the small company the news separate news portal we can post a section for the news uh, portal in the site so let's create the first team site here you can see when we'll create the site two options we have communication site and team site you can see my separate video which site to be choose and require for the corporate you can click on the above link and check why to create the team side and when to create the communication side the communication side is important when you have to create the internet site for the entire organization and the team side is required when you have to create the team site for the department or for a particular team or project team so first we will create the team site so we will see how to create the team site when we click here the first option we have to give the name of the site which we want to create so let me create the sample site for the hr department we will create the small site for the hr department so it will automatically grab the email address anybody can send on that address and that will reach to the hr directly so here i can you we can also choose the site address we can change that and let me change it to the human resource something and so that the, it is easy for people to recognize and open the site and we can add the description also for which purpose we are using that site so quickly let me enter that for you and then we have the privacy settings if you will keep the publics then anybody can access the site in the organization and if you keep the private then only your particular team and department can access the sites so this way we can choose private or public which site uh, which option we have to choose so let me create the private site because it is the hr it, because the site will belongs to hr so let's create the next and here we will type the ad owner address who will manage the site and who will be the member of the, your entire team so you can add the member so we can also add them later also so here it will drop us on the first page default uh, first page of the sharepoint site so the entire page is divided into many sections and we will edit all the section one by one so left right and top section we can add all the sections and to start with let me focus at the left section here you can see that the left navigation sent, uh, section so that we can fully customize and we can create and at the top you can see the top navigation and this is my entire page of the site so this is the quick click quick link section and the activity section so the whole page is divided into many sections we can drag the file and fold over the documents library so at the center of the page uh, let me show you how we can edit those sections and the center of the page we can you know edit the new section and we can also you know move the section to the left and right to left so all the section can be replaced can be moved and fully customized so to start with the editings on the web page you know first i will click on the edit here you can see at the top right corner so now i'm on the editing mode on this page and here you can see i can edit that web part so when you click on you can you can move the web parts anywhere and you can put it to any 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 section of the page so when you click on the plus button you can see they are all the web part just just let me maximize those and show you and uh, here you can see all the web parts category wise we can add all those section we can add all the web parts on any sections we want as per our requirement so here this is my new sections 
so we will change the new section and add the beautiful background as per our requirements so let me edit those sections when i click on the plus button i will choose the image that i want let me open and check the default stock images web search we can search directly from the web here so i will choose some some theme kind of uh, image let me go to the meeting and choose the beautiful image so here one image i think that is suitable for the for my people belongs to hr so let me tag that as a hr meeting room that section and uh, move that quick links to other place where i and i in place of that i will add some hr text for the new onboarding employee they should for the next 30 days they should do so at the left side you can see i can edit uh, all the menus here let me add one menu here hr docs so you can see i can uh, even edit the existing so here let me rename it to team chatting so here i can add as much as many i can add the menus here so here i have added the hr docs and other things and so let me add one more menu here hr checklist something so let me click on the plus button and add the address and display name so this is added so i want to edit the main core area of the page now so click on the plus button you can see i can create the section in the one column two column or three column so here we will add it now i have created the two sections area on the top and let we add it that section now and i can also add the three section one third left and one third right way so you can choose anything and you can also choose the background of the sections so let me show you how it look like when we create the sections if i click on the plus button and if i choose the three columns so this way it look like you know you can add as many section on these so we don't i don't require it now let me delete it and how it look like when i choose the other one third right column so this way you can see the one part and the third parts so i don't need it so let me delete this and add one more section for the account and finance for all the new onboard employee so when we click on the plus icon let me choose the one third left column no one third right column i think is required for me so so here i have add some text so let me choose a text and this is all the page setup for the new exp new on board employee and add uh, some kind of image or some kind of news so you know all the new joinings their daily basis stuff related to account and finance i will add the later on all the account related news there so okay so below that section let me create one more section for my all live training and events that are managed by the hr team so let me add some text uh, and suppose this is the live event and training section so all the other images related to that section i will create it as a new sections okay so now i don't want this to be here so let me delete that quick link section and even i don't want this document to be at the right side i will create it later on some other place so here let me add the twitter section hr related tweets can be followed there so i think that section will be good for tweeters so let me add the twitter and uh, let's search the twitter's web parts okay so here i can uh, create the twitter links by direct typing add the microsoft or i can also add directly the link from the tweeters and below that you can see there is some uh, option if you want if you don't want to uh, if you want, want if you don't want the header of the twitter you can remove that and you can also choose the theme color of the tweeters so here i will just only want to publish the hr related tweets so you can choose any twitter handles or you can choose any twitter account there as per your requirements okay so this is my page is ready now you can see that uh, i have added the two section the hr meeting room the new section the event sections so now i will add some news to my new section let me add some dummy news for you to look on how it look like and how to add let me add the new 
new news uh, you know here i will quickly forward the videos and you can see all the screen my fast screenings here so you can see how i've created the some dummy news for you i have selected the images and other text and this is the fast mode you can see and trust me adding all those things you don't need to be technical expert just add the right picture and the text of the news whatever news you want to publish on your organ for your organization so it is not and not at all difficult so i think i'm okay with the page now you can see i have added some news for my for my hr and for my account and finance sections so the quick link is for all my the all the recent news i've just added with the pictures so i think i'm quite satisfied with the page now the new section is there all the live event and training section is there my hr team section is there my twitter of the hr is section is there so let's scroll down and to see the activity section so what should i do on the activity section so let me scroll up and change some color settings of that uh, live events and training section so when we click on the plus and add it here you can see let me show you the other settings also here at the right side you can see i can change the color of the font i can change the background color of my section so let me change uh, that section so that it looks different from the upper sections i don't need that just the basic white background uh, so the section color should be different so that we can differentiate between the upper section and the lower section so here you can see i can change the color also so it is little light color so i think that is quite okay and now let's edit the below section activity i don't need that activity section here so i will delete that section let me delete it and i want to add some leader sections here of my company so that uh, you know any new on board employee can see what who are my leaders of the company so let me add the leader section here so so i had some text and i will now so some leaders image so let me choose some image from the google and here i can see i can this is quite okay so this is the leader section when i click on the leader page it should open the new separate page on the new windows so i can also add some more section let me add some more section leaders page and other section i also want uh, on the same section here so let me create the columns for the new other section that i will add later on so i have changed the color of this section so now i will create the new page and i will show you how to create the new page when you click on the site content here you can see the site library and under the site library i can create the site pages so here you can see it is a kind of list i can create or add any number of pages so i have just added the page company leader page so let me create the new site page here so just to save the time i will fast forward how to create the page so you can see how exactly i have created the page so i don't have much time but let me quickly create the page for you and read it for us to move ahead so this way you can see i have chosen the page and here you can see i have created the new page company leader page so here all my leader page is ready with all the ceo and companies photos graphs and there's biographies already let me click on the home page and see how it look like now so when i click on the leaders from the index page you can see now it has reached to the separate page so this is what i want okay so let's add some document library section so when we click on here plus button let me choose the document library here you can see my all documents when i click on so what default document page i want to set 
so you can choose at the right side you can see there are certain options there i can choose about 15 items 10 items or the more than 15 items so i think five items are enough for me and here you can see i can upload directly from here i've just uploaded two files for you on my document library so all teams player can access the files folder directly from the site okay so let's add one more vacation section here if if somebody in my team is going on the vacation i don't have any problems but you know in the team everybody should aware who is going on the vacation so everybody can post on the site so let me create one form if so, if the people are going on the vacation they can submit the form so that it informs to everyone in my team so let me quickly create the microsoft form for you here it is on the fast forward mode you can and it is important for all the HR people to know who are planning for to go on the vacation and for also all the for the organization also if we have the planned holidays for the coming days. So this is all my vacation pages ready. You can see I can set the beautiful background and at the right side you can see there are two options collect response and from result. So I will choose the collect response because I want to, to take the result for my team so let me create the new section just at the right side that will be for my twitter sections i i will create another twitter section you can see the certain options so all you can choose as per your requirement so once uh, we will create the twitter section i think now that section has the three pages you can see when i refresh the screen how it look like my vacation plan and all my twitter section so my pages look like perfect team side page now i think i just want to display the three tweets only so you can see just the three tweets are display on my team side page so all my pages almost ready i have to add some document library section somewhere so this is the team section i we will configure it later so let me show you one more thing you can also add the member of your teams later at any times so you can add the members so let me republish it and uh, add the document library section at the top so i think so at the top side if we will scroll let me scroll up and edit the page again so i want to add some library section here document library which is the most important section of this page so let me create the another column here for the document library so let me search the documents okay so this is document library and uh, here you can see i will select the default documents and uh, here you can see i can write the name of the folder and uh, you can see the three side three options are available so this is i think the document is all set so let me refresh it so yeah so i think now the page is almost ready my document library is there live events are there so let me show you some more setting if you go to the top right corner there is the option change the look and you can change and change the entire look of the page just select the color you want as per your requirement so you can choose any color i think blue color is okay for my team side and i will choose different color for my communication side so my page is all done now let me create the microsoft team and you can you know we can also integrate the page to the microsoft team also so that in my team all can access that page directly from their microsoft team windows they don't have to open any browser so let me jump and to the microsoft team and show you how you can see you can see the hr department is already default it has created so general section is default created with the sharepoint site so here we will i will show you how to add the files you know when we uh, collaborate with the teams in the team section we we have many times we have to share the file and when you click on the top plus button here you can search the sharepoint page and you can add the tab on your team channels so uh, let me choose the sharepoint page here so let's notify everyone in your teams by checking that option 
so let's choose the share points i just created and i've added the home so here you can see my page is fully my site is fully accessible on the microsoft team also so all can collaborate all can share the file all can upload the file from the team itself so all can access if i'll go to the team Twitter page it is working perfectly i don't have to go to the browsers so here let me rename that to my somethings sharepoint hr sharepoint or something sharepoint you can see so i think sharepoint hub is quite okay so so this my page is all set now you can see i can refresh i can see the tweet i can see the vacation plan and you can see you know if if we'll upload some documents here from the teams so all will upload to the sharepoint only let me show you we can also upload directly or we can also share the files and folder directly from here from our team site so i've just uploaded that file so we can also see that on the sharepoint side also that my folders will be uploaded here so let me refresh and uh, here you can see the files is already there now so this way you know i can upload the document directly from sharepoint side i can directly upload documents for my team so let me this time let upload one document from the sharepoints so when we go to the upload and files let me choose one file here so this is my file i've just chosen so let's see how it looks like on the sharepoint side so when we click on the sharepoint and we refresh it so let me click on the see all button so let me see where it is so in the when we go to the general folder and here you can see the file is on the general folders you can see the file i've just uploaded my team so my sharepoint is now directly integrated with the team also i can open and i can access directly my team site on my microsoft team so so i can republish the page now and now we will create the another site for communication site so we are all done with the team sites so now we will create the another communication site which is basically used as an intranet site in your organizations and uh, when we click it is almost identical there are three options you have to choose which kind of site you have to choose and uh, the same way you have to give the name and description of the site so so when you click on the topic you can choose the design topic showcase or blank so this way you can choose the desired site you want to create for your communication site so let me give some name to my intranet site let it be the company updates and some description of the site and then we can choose the desired language english i think that is fine so let me publish and create so it will drop us to the default site it has created as a communication site for my company you can see the new section you can see all the news all the companies related stuff there new section is there and then there's the event section is there then there's a document library and uh, we can also add the news directly from and publish all the events for all the employee of the company so here if you see at the top side there is a there is there is no left navigation bar so at all the navigation at the top side we, you can see i can edit all those links i can create for you something for you and we can edit those top section same way as we have added the left section when you click on the left here we can add the link like value i want to add for the for the company i want to add one link for my top section so let's give the name and uh, okay so this is my address of the link and uh, let me choose some sensible name okay value that will be the value of the all the values of the company will be displayed at the top so you can see the values there let me save this and now you can see the value section value button is there actually so when you click on the edit and we can edit this page same way as we can see in the team sites 
so we can edit any section we can edit the background and everything's layout we can add the column we can add the three columns two columns the same way as we have seen in the team site so when we added the section i'll just show you so when we add it, suppose the new section, if I click on the plus button and click on the edit at the right side, you can see there are certain controls. I can change the layout of the page list wise and the otherwise. So there are different layouts options that are available. You can choose any layout things and the number of posts you want to display on the screen. You can choose the three posts. You can choose the two posts or any number of posts you can see. So I think there are plenty of uh, options are available to customize the page according to your requirement and here you can see there is a different filter option. You can also change the background color of the sections and down below you can see I can automate the site flow if you have the Microsoft flow knowledge you can automate some sections also. So you can create side by side layout or tiles layout. So I think I'm all done with this. So, okay, so let's come and refresh how the pages look like now. So all you see the quick click section, I'm not changing anything here. So I'll just show you some more settings, site content and how you can add the other application, other apps to the site. So when you click on the site contain, you can see I can add the document library from here and the site mailbox I can also add as a section to my page. And I can also add the custom list and I can create the custom list and I can add the calendar section if I will choose. So let's create one list here and publish it on our communication site so that all can see that list. So here I'm creating the new list for you. So I think that list will be like something like idea for the games or festivals. So all in the company can post their idea so that is the fun and joy to celebrate the festival season in the company. All can contribute the different ideas. So I've created one idea list here and I will publish it on the communication side. So the all well, all so that all the ideas are welcome from everyone. So here you can see the list. I'm creating some new record for the list and then we will publish it. So when we click on the home screen, so where exactly I will publish those things. Uh, here I think I have to add one more section just above the new. Okay, so let's create the two columns under the one section. So my text will be idea for festival and add the list, search the list and okay this is the list template. So here my list I have chosen just created and this is my blank list is added on the sections now. So let's add some record to the sections. Here you can see I can create uh, the new items for the list. So let me fast forward that and quickly create the records for the list so all I think is done now so you can see uh, let me refresh it okay so one record is there now you can see it is published so all the people can publish all the people can post their ideas and all ideas will be published on my communication site okay so add uh, one more column here for all my time zone i have the office in the different uh, geographic location so i want to add the los angeles time chicago time and my india time so let's add the four o'clock on the communication side that will display to all the employee if they will open it so it's quite handy for everyone to check the time on the different geographic location and it will be held for their meetings also because in my India operation a lot of people have the US a lot of people have the meeting with the US people so I have added the new Delhi Chicago Los Angeles and New York time zone so this is fine so let's add one more column here at uh, so you know what I am uh, I'm opening one more office in Chicago I want to add some countdown timers after the four days my 
office is going to open at Chicago Center so that uh, it should be as a news or as a countdown timer you know it should be published to everyone so in the Christmas we are going to open the new Chicago Center so here I'm entering the text of my Chicago office news and in the four days you can see I can edit the time and let me choose the days and after four days I want to choose so let's okay so you can see the four days after four days my countdown is begun now so it is visible and uh, now everyone can see that we can s customize all the countdown time settings here so you can choose any dates any dates any day so timer is looking some blank kind of thing i want to add some beautiful chicago image and the background so let double click on that and choose the chicago city image something it looks the most stunning you know because it is going to post on my internet portal so let me enter chicago and uh, okay i think this image is suitable for what i'm looking for so let me save it okay so this look like exactly what i want let me republish the portal again now you can see the three sections and the three columns has been added successfully so i am quite done with my all communication side so i'll sh i'll show you some more settings so if you see at the top left side there are some more settings there's a new button you can see at the top when you click on that document library and we can add a button also here this is a drop down buttons you can say drop down list you can say so i want to add one list here so when you click on the list so here you can see I can create the new list but I'm not going to create any kind of list. I'm just showing you that we can create the list and publish it and directly link it to the drop down menus. So here you can see my top navigations all set. I want the values pages there. Let me click on the home button. And uh, so my page is almost ready now. I just want to show you some more setting at uh, that how we can uh, so if you go to the documents uh, in the company in all the location everyone anyone can upload their documents and it will publish to the portals for everyone to see so in the internet there are maximum readers are because the contents authors are very few but all maximum are the all the readers so if you see uh, my page at the top right corner there is a permissions you can see who will be the site owner who will be the site member everyone will be the site member you can see because it is a communication site or you can also decide if the site visitor if, if you want to allow some guest so this is the site sharing option how the member can share that files and documents or the sites when you click on there are three options so at the top you can see all the site owners and members can share the files and folder and can share the site also at, at the second you can see only the owner can share the sites but the other members cannot share the sites and at the third side you can see only the site owner have the permissions to share the files and the site to everyone so these are all the based on the requirement you can carefully choose the option for your company so this way you can see you know how the communication site honors and other things will work out so you can choose the desired option required exactly for your requirements and down below you can see the you can also enable the allow access request if anybody want to access the site they can request the owner to access the site and this way you can create the beautiful message for them so that they request you the owner that they also want to see the site so we can customize this message this way so let me i'm just discarding that so you can choose the options as for your requirements so let's move to other site settings here you can see these are the super administration setting do not change anything unless you are 
very familiar with the thing so let we can also change the look also theme also so you can choose any themes for your communication site so let we change the theme colors to be something okay so it's like maroon because my team side is in blue so it's a different color is for the communication side so this way you can see i can change the look headers footers and everything is customizable we can change the color we can change the background we can change the logo so all the headers options can be customizable and uh, i can change the entire logo you can just see i have just chosen another logo for my site so i think this is quite okay so let me cascade the navigation type also the menu styles so we can choose the menu style in other way also so let's save this and uh, let me refresh that for you and so i think my site is ready now we will see how we can add the sites in the microsoft team so that i have the different site for my communication and within the team you can see i have the one site for my intranet and one site for my team so here you can see the my maroon site and my blue site is for my team so i can access and i can upload my documents all the news categories directly at uh, the single platform on the microsoft team i don't have to go to any browser and i can do all the stuff here for my within from within my microsoft team so you can see i have created the page without much effort and it is very super easy for everyone to access and to create the pages in the company i hope you like the videos please do subscribe my channel and share it goodbye for now Thank you.